actually Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. <laughs> I got 90 minutes left. All right. On behalf of Jane and my four kids and my seven grandchildren, let me take this opportunity to wish everybody a very, very happy uh, Thanksgiving season and a wonderful holiday season uh, to come. I don't have to tell anybody uh, that from a political point of view, this has been a horrendous year. It appears that almost every day there is something coming out of the White House that is embarrassing, that is destructive, that is horrific. And that's the bad news. But the good news is that because the American people from coast to coast have begun the process of standing up and fighting back, we have won some very significant victories despite the fact that right-wing Republicans control the White House, the U.S. House of Representatives, and the Senate. Because of what you did, people all across the country, the Republican effort to throw 30 million Americans off of health insurance failed. We beat them back. And because of your effort, we're going to take them on on their disastrous tax proposal to give massive tax breaks to billionaires while at the same time raising taxes for millions of people in the middle class. We're going to beat them on that as well. It is clear not just to me, but to I think almost everybody of the American people are catching on as to what a disaster, what a political disaster Trump and the Republican leadership are about. And that is why just a couple of weeks ago, from coast to coast, we won massive political victories, electing progressives from one end of this country to the other. And what was to me particularly exciting and exhilarating was to see so many working people and young people who have never ever run for office before suddenly get involved in the political process. And in fact, in many cases, win their elections. And that's what we have to do. So our job now is we enjoy this holiday with our family and our friends, is not only to take on Trump's divisive actions, his desire to divide us up based on the color of our skin or our sexual orientation or where we were born or our religion or whatever. Not only do we have to take them on, we have to do something else. And that is move this country forward in a way that creates a government and an economy that works for all of us in a way that moves this country forward in a direction based on love, based on generosity, not on divisiveness and not on oligarchy. So we have had a tough year and we're going to continue to have a number of very, very hard battles in front of us. But I just wanted at this moment uh, to wish everybody a wonderful Thanksgiving and uh, a very happy holiday season. Thank you.